Good morning, agents, and welcome to another daily episode of Target Loot today for October 29th. The series that shows you the Target Loot map, farming tips and tricks, vendor reset highlights, and much more. I'm Agent Shadow, and if you enjoy my content, please consider pressing those subscribe and like buttons below. In the pinned comment, there are links to join my Discord and clan and support my channel, but we'll cover that and more at the end of the video. Let's get started with the Dark Zones first and the highlights from the vendors this week then DC, and the New York City Target Loot highlights last. Alright, so this is just your daily reminder to do your weekly SHD requisition. That's for your first exotic cache. Your second one's at the summit. You can complete that to floor 100 and group by yourself. You can jump to floor 100 and another group, whatever you want to do. And you also get a named item cache, which includes any named item in the game, including DZ exclusives. And then finally, your weekly legendary mission, which is Roosevelt Island, for your third exotic cache. All right, agents, we're starting off again with the highlights for the Dark Zones. So starting off with the vendors for the Dark Zone West, you can go ahead and get the Death Grips this week with 117,000 armor, armor on kill at 10%, and rolled with status effects on the third attribute slot. As far as targeted loot goes, it's Grupo Sumbro. The only DZ exclusive you can farm for is a Door Kicker's Knock with Perfect Spark. Although in DZ South, there is a Door Kicker's Knock you can buy that's rolled with weapon damage, weapon handling, and headshot damage. Alright, next up we got DZ South, which is True Patriot. There's no DZ exclusives to farm for here, so I'm just going to move on to DZ East. And I've already told you what's in the DZ South vendor, which is the Door Kicker's Knock. And then over here in DZ East, we do got Assault Rifles today, so if anyone needs to farm for the Rail Splitter with Perfect Accurate, today's a great day to do it. It is a DZ exclusive, and it actually is a pretty good assault rifle. I actually tried it out on my latest two, uh, True Patriot build. It works pretty good, actually. Otherwise, it's a great collectible, so if you need to grab it today, go and grab it. Let's go check out the Northside Target Loot highlights. Alright, agents, starting off with the Northside Target Loot highlights. I would like to go through the invaded missions, but on my map, for some reason, they don't show up, and I haven't even done them this week. I know Lincoln Memorial is one, Space Administration HQ is another one. I think it's because of the Manhunt missions. And then, of course, Tidal Basin and Capitol Building is the main stronghold this week. With the Target of Loot, you got Badger Tough at Camp White Oak, so that's a 0F's chess piece with Perfect Unbreakable. Definitely worth farming for. I have a build I'll put in the top right card that utilizes that chess piece, and it's completely worth farming for. Otherwise, we got some machine guns at Coney Island Ballpark. You can farm for the Lady Death and the Chatterbox if you've already gotten it through the quest. If you haven't gotten it through the quest, it won't drop. It'll just, you know, you have to get the parts for it first and craft it. Otherwise, I recommend getting a Vector Variant or MPX. Those are the two type of best types of SMGs in the game, especially if you're real strained or close and personal on them. And then, of course, you can get the Dark Winter and Apartment. Those are two Dark Zone exclusives, so you can't get them in the Light Zone, but I believe they drop from Target Loot Rewards for the Dark Winter. I'm just not 100% sure on that. Lastly, you can get two named submachine guns in the Light Zone. That's the Safety Distance with Perfect Outsider and Swap Chain, the named MP7. Next up, we got chess pieces at Manning National Zoo. You have two exotics you can get, which is the Tardigrade exotic chess piece and the Ridgeway's Pride. You had to have finished the project for Ridgeway's Pride to farm for it, or if you're in a group with someone like me who's already gotten it already and finished the project, I can get it, or whoever's in your group that already has done the project can get it and then drop it for you, you know, and then you will complete the project and have it yourself. Kenley College is open for another four days, and then yeah, Summit, you choose your own target of loot, so I'm probably not going to be covering Summit anymore. Let's go check out the West Side Target of Loot highlights. Alright agents, we're over here on the West Side Target of Loot highlights. Now, we got quite a bit of stuff to farm for today, and I wanted to start off with one of the, probably the best things you can farm for today. I'm going to start off with Legendary Loot. So at Roosevelt Island, we have Douglas and Harding. The only thing I recommend with DNH is the Punch Drunk Mask. It gives you 20% headshot damage baked right into the mask. It goes great with the Perfect Headhunter chest piece, but you don't need to run this on Legendary to get a good Punch Drunk Mask, but you can if you want to. Then moving on to Providence Defense at District Union Arena. This is probably the highlight of today besides the Rail Splitter. You could farm Providence Defense on Legendary and it doesn't have to be in Summit. I personally like running Legendary District Union Arena more than Summit Legendary Floors, and it's most likely going to drop more loot than if I farm for it in Summit. But of course, that's my own personal opinion. You can also get the Sacrifice with Perfect Glass Cannon that amplifies all damage by 30% and all incoming damage by 60%. Lastly, we got Murakami at Capitol Building. Murakami is great, especially One Piece with that skill duration. 
If you just need a good piece, you can run it on Legendary or Heroic today. Otherwise, let's go back to the West Side Targaloo highlights. All right, agents. So starting off with the rest of West Side, we got Federal Emergency Bunker, Overlord Targeted Loot. So this is where you would farm for the foxes per knee pads. It gives you 8% damage to targets out of cover. That's multiplicative damage, the best type of damage in this game. I always run it with an M1A build. Even without an M1A or a rifle, I still run it as long as I'm not running Hunter's Fury or the True Patriot builds that you know I've put out in the past few weeks. As far as gear sets go, we do have Tip of the Spirit Bank HQ. That's usually good for really niche things in this game, like raids. And then you got Eclipse Protocol DCD, so four pieces with Imperial Dynasty or the Vile Mask is a great, great build, especially with that one piece Golan gear. And then you got Future Initiative in the West Potomac Park. Four pieces for a good healer build. If you don't have the chest and backpack piece, which like Foundry Bulwark, Future Initiative chest and backpack only drop from the Iron Horse raid. They're still locked behind the raid as a raid exclusive, but you can mix, like I always recommend, an Alp Summit chest with Empathetic Resolve, mix with four pieces of Future Initiative, and that still creates an amazing healer build. We also got masks over here at Lincoln Memorial, so that's the Coyotes mask, the Vile mask, and the Punch Drunk mask, which I recommend farming Roosevelt Island for if you just need that Punch Drunk, otherwise farm Lincoln Memorial for everything else. I just skipped over Hardwired because, you know, three pieces with two pieces of Hana Yu and one piece Wyvern Wear is great for a turret drone build. You can also put together three or four pieces for infinite Seekers pretty much, or a really short cooldown on Seeker Mines, which is a great build as well. But that's about it that I know about for Hardwired. You got Walker Harrison Co. at Tidal Basin. You can farm for the Chain Killer with Perfect Headhunter. The Matador with Perfect Adrenaline Rush I do not think drops in the Light Zone. It's been conflicting since it came out. It's supposed to be a Dark Zone exclusive. But I believe even I've gotten it from Target Loot Rewards. But it never drops from an NPC or boss. You got Gloves over here at Potomac Event Center. You can farm for the BTSU Gloves. And then of course if you want to farm for the contractor's gloves you can farm here as well that gives you eight percent damage to armor although if there's petrov targeted loot anywhere i would highly recommend that which is over here at the white house you have two control points to farm this area and that would strictly be for the contractor's gloves all right let's go check out what we got on the east side targeted loot highlights and then new york city all right agents we're over here on the east side target loot highlights i'll get started with a few gear sets that there are but highly worth it there are two dps gear sets negotiator's dilemma and hunter's fury at grand washington hotel and jefferson plaza which is looks like one of the invaded missions this week now negotiator's dilemma is still amazing i have a double lmg build i'll put in the top right card right now that still is very viable in TU-11. There's all sorts of ways to build around three, four pieces, really four pieces of Negotiator's Dilemma, and it's worth farming for in my opinion. Same thing goes with Hunter's Fury. There's very, very like a large variation of things you can do with Hunter's Fury. I always love it with Memento Backpack and like a Sokolo chest piece with Intimidate or something. But personally, this is just something I would farm for to try to get weapon damage and crit hit chance or weapon damage and crit hit damage on and try to get the best rolls possible. You got rifles at Federal Triangle. That's the Diamondback and Merciless Exotic Rifles. And then you can get a good classic M1A. I always recommend Boomerang, Ranger, and Rifleman as the damage talents you can put on a rifle. They're just absolutely the best damage talents you can put on a rifle. You got holsters at Jefferson Trade Center. There's two exotics, the Imperial Dynasty holster, or sorry, I think that's one, Imperial Dynasty holster and the Dodge City holster. Both of those are really good holsters. Then you got the Forge holster, which gives you an extra 50% shield health, a whole extra skill tier with the shield health to your shield. Alp Summit over here at American History Museum. So like I said before, you can farm for a chest piece with Empathetic Resolve and mix that with four pieces of Eclipse Protocol if you do not have the chest and or backpack from the iron horse raid otherwise if you really want to you can get the percussive maintenance with perfect tech support but i believe that goes on wyvernware or hana U. it works better with skill damage offensive skill brands we also got over here at uh, viewpoint museum or all the holdings so you want to farm weapon damage headshot damage and weapon handling whenever those drop and then knee pads over here at air and space museum you can farm for the two exotic knee pads which is sawyer's knee pads and ninja bike messenger knee pads and then Fox's Prayer Knee Pads, which I highly recommend farming Overlord Ornaments for. Shotguns in Southwest. So the three best shotguns in this game is the mop with 10% armor on kill with close and personal on it, the custom M870, and the Marine Super 90. 
Otherwise, you can farm for the Sweet Dreams Exotic Shotgun, although I just never really used that weapon on any of my builds. Alright, let's go check out what we got over in New York City Target Loot Highlights, and then I will let you guys go. Alright, agents, we're over here at New York City Target Loot Highlights. I'm going to get started off with the gear sets that are available over here today. We got Foundry Bulwark and the Tombs. So that's always good with Armor Region build. You can mix that with Bellstone Armory, two pieces of Golong gear. And there's even Bellstone Armory to farm right here at Civic Center. We got Ongoing Directive at Pathway Park. Like I said, I highly recommend watching Identity. Awesome guy. He recently put out an amazing bleed build with four pieces of Ongoing Directive. And it's without the Ridgeway's Pride. We got Aces and Eights at Battery Park. You can run three pieces of that with two pieces of Arelda Holding and a perfect Headhunter chest piece for an amazing headshot damage build. And then Strikers at Wall Street I never recommend. I just think it's a useless gear set and it shouldn't really be in the game. We got Light Machine Guns of Financial District. You got the Exotic Pestilence and the Exotic Bullet King. Otherwise, you can farm for a named LMG. You can get the Good Times with Perfect Fast Hands, the New Reliable, the Carnage, the Quiet Roar, the Slefner. There's tons of LMGs that are named in this game. We also got Hana Yu over here at Stranded Tanker. I always farm this area, or at least Hana Yu. For the force multiplier backpack with perfect combined arms it's an extra 30 percent skill damage every three seconds that you're shooting and landing your hits especially if you have in sync on a weapon it's just pretty much unbeatable in my opinion and i think lastly we got bellstone armory at civic center so you can get the new named items which are the everyday carrier with perfectly efficient although with the liquid engineer with perfect bloodsucker i do not know for sure if that drops in the light zone as a target of loot reward it's you know designated as a dark zone exclusive from the data miners but i haven't seen it drop in the open world i don't even know if it's been rewarded to me so comment below and let me know what your experience is and if the liquid engineer has dropped for you from target loot rewards all right agents well that was the target loot for today thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe and like if you enjoyed my content if you would like to become a member for support and exclusive perks you can click the join button below that would be amazing you can also grab some Shadow Gaming merchandise by clicking the link in the pinned comment and video description below. I have tons of items to grab up and lower prices than usual of what Teespring defaults them to. You can also support me on Alt Tech like Patreon and Subscribestar, but if you're still watching this video right now to the end, thank you. That's truly the best way to support me and whitelist me on your ad blocker. Take care agents to be sure to stay tuned for more daily Division 2 content. This is Agent Shadow signing off, I will see you in the next video. Take care, agents.